What's going on, Ray Collins, Rec Tech Grills here with Stevie Fresh from Rec Tech Grills. What's up? Hey, we requested on Twitter what you wanted to see as far as recipes, and somebody requested a standing rib roast. Stevie's excited about yeah, it. Yeah, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that one. I did all that mise en place for this. Great. Mise en place. You pulled out a big uh, culinary word. <laughs> all right. That means he got everything ready. This is a pretty complex recipe. What we did, we kind of prepped things because it is a lot to do. The instructions are going to be below, but we did a dried cranberry pear stuffing, and uh, then we did this. The butcher did this for us. What style is that? Uh, French. It's a crown French. You're going to wrap them together, tie them off so it turns into the crown. The bones are French down, so you take off all the meat. Cover them with aluminum foil, so when you put them on the grill, they don't burn off at the top. That's right. We're going to go put this on the rec tech at like 500 degrees in a second, and then we're going to turn it down and finish it, smoke it around 300 degrees. So the first thing we're going to do is going to go, Stevie's going to go ahead and season that up. Now, we made a seasoned paste. We used uh, fresh sage, rosemary, and thyme. We used about two tablespoons of our Greek um, seasoning. It's our gourmet Greek seasoning. And then we used some kosher salt and some black pepper and some olive oil to make a paste. So he's going to season this. Now, you want to season the outside, of course, but you want to get a lot on the inside Get of this roast the, because that's where the most of the meat is is actually on the inside so after he seasons that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this in this pan now you want to take a nice roasted pan this is what we made our stuffing in so we just finished the stuffing but we want to get this roast up off the bottom because what we're going to do is here we're going to put 32 ounces of uh, chicken broth let me get that so we're going to put some chicken broth in the bottom of this You know what, now that I see it, I'm going to put a little more chicken broth. I'm going to put about another, uh, I got two cans open. I'm going to put about another 24 ounces in there. I don't think you can put too much in there. You think I'm enough? All right. No, I know. You, I said you can't put too much. Oh, you can't put too much because it's going to be up off of it. So we put another 24 ounces. We're going to put, what is this, a cup? Celery, that's uh, on this one, that's going to be two ribs of celery, which is two, two ribs. Two ribs of celery, about a cup of onion diced. We're going to put about a quarter of uh, fennel, uh, bulb. fennel. Now that's fennel the, bulb. That's the bulb of the fennel. The bulb of the fennel diced up. That goes into another recipe. Oh, that's for a different recipe? Yeah. I thought we already put the onion in it. So we're going to put that in the base. That's also going to be a nice basting sauce when this is all done. So Stevie's got this um, all nice and rubbed. The reason we want to lift this up off the bottom is because we don't, we want the stuff, we're going to stuff this with the stuffing. Now, we made a big batch of stuffing here, and that recipe, like I said, is going to be below. Got it? Yep. And uh, it's not all going to fit in here. So some of it, what doesn't work, we're going to put it in a pan and cook next to the um, to the, uh, the 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 roast next to it to get it done. So we're going to stuff this. Don't pack it too too tight. Not too tight, just yeah. like that. Yeah. So we're able to get about three cups in there. We've got some more stuffing that's just going to go in a roasting pan right beside this. So it's time to say it. You want to say it one time? We'll see you at the grill. At the rec tech. Rec tech. All right. We're going. We're going. Okay, so we're at the rec tech. We want to put two cups of uh, uh, dry white wine. I forgot to do that, so we're going to put that in. Now we're going to get everything on. I got the rec tech preheated to 500 degrees. We're using a hickory pellet today. Great thing about the rec tech, press a button, set the temperature, walk away, and you're cooking with wood. It's that simple. We're going to let this cook for 30 minutes at 500, and then we're going to turn it down to 300. Okay, so it's been going 30 minutes at 500. It's coming along nicely. Just want to give you a sneak peek. Now we're going to turn the temperature of the rec tech down to 300 degrees. All right, I'm excited. We were shooting for an internal of 140. You can go to 145 if you like. I like to pull it 140. We're going to let it rest 25 minutes. Look how gorgeous this thing is. I'm going to go inside and show you how to make a pan sauce. But there we go. We'll see you inside. All right, so we want to let this guy rest for about 20, 25 minutes. It's gorgeous. You want to lightly tint it in foil and let it rest. Now we're going to make the pan sauce real easy. We're going to take the, um, the uh, 
the chicken stock and white wine uh, sauce we had in here. We're going to put it in the um, blender, blend it, and then we're going to put it on the stove, reduce it and uh, until it's a little bit thicker, and then we're going to put it on our, um, our chops when we cut them. So uh, I forgot to tell you at the beginning, we did put two bay leaves in here. We removed those. Now we're going to uh, put this in the blender, or you can use a submersion blender if you like. Be careful, this is hot. It's a shame Stevie couldn't make it till the end. He's missing out. It looks amazing. So what I learned, the stuffing got a little bit dry. We added some of that stock to some of the stuffing uh, to kind of re bring it back. So I'd probably go a little heavier on the stock. We're going to pour a nice glass of Chardonnay. Yeah, I'm amped. It's Friday night. The Rec Tech lifestyle. Let's see how this thing turned out. Mm. It's so moist. Goodness gracious, it's moist. Unbelie unreal. This is unbelievable. This is my first time doing one of these. I got to tell you guys, it couldn't have been easier. It took about five hours, 30 minutes at the, um, 500 degrees, and then about four and a half hours at 300 to get to an internal 140. It is absolutely amazing. Try this one great dip for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Visit RecTechGrills.com. You won't be sorry. Thanks for grilling with me today. Man.